Stanford University. So there's been a lot of interest in how global warming affects extreme temperatures. And uh, we've taken a different look at this question in that we're asking uh, whether or not global warming can cause the heat regime to change entirely such that the season that an area experiences in, say, the mid 21st century is uh, still hotter than the hottest season that that area experienced in the late 20th century. And it's important to note that when we do this analysis, uh, we're comparing summers with summers and winters with winters. And what we find is that many regions of the globe are likely to uh, experience this permanent emergence of extreme heat uh, over the next four to five decades. And in fact, in the tropics, we find that there's a 50% likelihood uh, in, in many areas that this extreme heat emergence could occur within the next two decades. Outside of the tropics, uh, areas of the United States, particularly in the western United States and along the eastern seaboard, uh, are at risk of, of experience this, experiencing this permanent uh, extreme heat emergence um, within the next uh, four to five decades. We also find that substantial areas of Europe and China uh, uh, face this extreme heat emergence uh, over the next half century. And we're basing these projections on a scenario of greenhouse gas emissions. And it's possible that uh, technological innovations, uh, policy uh, <laughs> agreements, increases in the efficiency of energy use could all help to uh, curb that global warming. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.